So I just pushed myself to the limits. I haven't talked about the iPad Pro in the year of 2022 for over two videos, which means this is the video specifically about the M1 iPad Pro, about iPad Pro in general. Why you would actually wanna pick one in the year of 2022? And before we start, let me clarify what I mean that you should pick up the iPad Pro. I mean that if these specific reasons that I'm gonna give you in this video actually somehow apply to you, maybe there is a time for you to reconsider or consider buying an iPad Pro. Because let me tell you, this device has been out for over, I think, nine months. We are actually pushing to a year and it's still a fantastic choice. And I'm not also talking about specifically M1 version. I'm talking about the A12Z, A12X versions that you can find on Apple Refurbish, which have really great deals on these iPad Pros. So overall, this is the video for everybody who's interested into getting some iPad Pro. And yes, I'm actually wearing Air AirPods, AirPods, AirPods. I always get confused because I actually wanna stay focused and give you all the best information that is possible. So let's begin. And when speaking of iPad Pro, you know, I've done many videos about that. There have been a lot of reviews and considerations about iPad Pro software not being ready, hardware being overkill and stuff and stuff and stuff. But nobody actually clarified why iPad Pro would be good for you. What's actually the reason for you to get the iPad Pro, I mean, why you would wanna get this device, pay extra over iPad Air, over iPad mini, or even the basic iPad. And well, there are actually a couple of reasons. And number one, numero uno, is that you are just a person who wants to have the best possible experience you can have with a product. What does it mean specifically? Well, maybe you want some features that are not available on other iPads. For example, 120 Hz display. And yes, they've been out for a long time, since 2017. But the truth is, there is no other iPad that has 120 Hz except the iPad Pro lineup. So it doesn't have to be the newest, it can be the 2018 iPad Pro, it can be the 2020 or the M1 iPad Pro. They all have 120 Hz. The 2017 has that also, but uh, you know, I'm talking about specifically iPad Pro 2018 and a higher. So like if you want that perfect smooth display, if you want that have better experience with that promotion, and I feel like on an iPad it's way more valid when it comes to gaming. Call of Duty Mobile supports 120 FPS, PUBG supports 90 FPS. The overall navigation, uh, thanks to that 120 Hz on that bigger screen, is way more noticeable than it is on an iPhone. I admit I love 120 Hz and I wouldn't literally go back to 60 even on my iPhone, but like on an iPad, it's particularly easy to notice. Like when you are scrolling, when you are navigating through the OS, or when you are gaming, like it's so noticeable. It's a fantastic experience. And in my opinion, adds a tons of capability, actually not capability, but more of a user's experience, more of the feeling when you are using this device. It just feels way, way, way better than the 60 Hz display, especially on a screen that's about 11 inch or bigger. Like in that case, it really makes a difference. It really makes the overall experience way better. Just like the speakers, because if you care about the best experience, you're gonna go with the iPad Pro lineup. And what contributes to that best experience are actually these four stereo speakers on the top and the bottom. And they give you some terrific sound. And hey, I'm not telling that other iPads are not gonna give you that. But if you wanna have the best speaker quality, iPad Pro is the way to go. And now pretty much the obvious way, the obvious reason, is that performance. And I know what people are saying. I've seen tons of videos and reviews about iPad Pros and people are talking constantly about how overkill this is, how much power there is, how much RAM, how it's not needed. And to a certain degree, I agree because the software is not ready. I don't know if it's ever gonna be ready. But the truth is there is no such thing as overkill in performance. You always want to have the most out of the performance. You always want to have the best capabilities when it comes to the speed, RAM and iPad Pro offers you that. Because let me tell you, what this overkill hardware does is basically your apps that you've opened two days ago, they are not going to be closing. They're just going to stay in the memory. And it's a great experience, you know, you come back to the game day later and it's still open. Like you open some apps, it's open. The device stay cool. You want to do some photo editing suddenly, 
It's possible, it's easy. The device does not overheat, it's snappier than most of the laptops. You wanna do some video editing, no problem. The hardware gives you that advantage. And yes, other iPads are fast. They are really fast. But iPad Pro is just a leak above. And like, you're not gonna beat it that way with any other iPad. And even if we are talking, maybe you just don't wanna go for the M1 iPad Pro because uh, it's gonna be replaced by the end of the year. Hey, it's still a long time, but you know, for some people, not worth, so whatever. But if you go even with the 2018 model, 2020 model, you're still gonna get that premium experience. These speakers, this 120 Hertz, this iPad Pro feeling, like, uh, as I said once, it still offers the newest design because the bezels are actually slimmer than on the iPad Air and on the iPad mini. It still has that complete iPad experience for not that much of a price, because if you actually think about it, the 2018 iPad Pro refurbished is cheaper than iPad Air, like, like that's mind blowing. And the 2020 iPad Pro refurbished is pretty much the same price. So like, no contest, no comparison. Like, if your argument was the price about the iPad Pro, like, it's no longer viable in any way, because thanks to Apple refurbished, and they are not sponsoring me, of course, but like, it's just such a good deal that you gotta talk about it. Like, if you have a choice between the iPad Pro and iPad Air, like, you choose iPad Pro and the price, when it's the same, like, it's, it's no brainer. iPad Pro is a good deal. But if you want more from your iPad, if you want these particular features like promotion display, better speed, better RAM, you are gonna appreciate it. Because as I said, there's no such thing as overkill hardware it may be underutilized to a certain degree, but it's not overkill because thanks to that hardware, you get a flawless experience, you get perfectly smooth animations, you get really fast speeds when it comes to everything you are doing. And that's why you wanna get the iPad Pro in 2022. And maybe, thanks to this video, that's why you wanna subscribe to this channel, which hopefully you will do. Hopefully you're all fine, stay cool, cause you ain't no fool, and until next time.